Hello and welcome to Math 1141. In this video we're going to talk about the tutorial structure for this subject, which is a little different from previous years. In particular, we have online tutorials and classroom tutorials. The schedule for these tutorials is given in your information book, in each of the algebra and calculus books, as well as here on the board. Now let, let's discuss what we have here on the board. In week one, there are no tutorials. Fantastic. In week two, tutorials begin. You will start off with an online tutorial in algebra and a classroom tutorial in calculus. And these will alternate as the weeks go on. In each week, you will have one online tutorial and one classroom tutorial. And this goes on. Let's make a note of what happens in week five, because that's a little bit special. In week five, you have a classroom tutorial for algebra. You have an online tutorial for calculus and you have a class test for calculus. What does this mean? Well, when you have an online tutorial, ordinarily you do not have to turn up to your allocated tutorial room. But when you have a class test, you do have to turn up to your allocated tutorial room. So in this week, there is an online tutorial and a calculus class test in your calculus room at the calculus tutorial time. What does an online tutorial look like? And what does a classroom tutorial look like? Well, let's start with the classroom tutorials. In a classroom tutorial, you have a chapter and some problems from that chapter and an experienced tutor will answer any questions you have for that week. Compare that with an online tutorial. For an online tutorial, we select the questions for that week and a model solution will be presented to you through a video. To reinforce the learning of these videos, there will be a set of Maple TA questions and you'll have to watch the video, then go to Maple TA and answer the questions related to that video. So how do you go about doing an online tutorial? You begin by going to the Math 1141 Moodle page. You scroll past the general information and the computing component and you scroll down to Algebra and Calculus. Let us read of this together. The Algebra online tutorials are in even weeks. Each online tutorial consists of four topics, each with a associated YouTube video and Maple exercises. Click the link below to access the tutorial. So in the even weeks, you can click an algebra tutorial and in the odd weeks, you can click a calculus online tutorial. I can see these because I'm an admin dude. You can see them when they become available. So the week two tutorial will be available from the 9th of March for two weeks from the 9th of March. And when those two weeks are up, the week four tutorial will become available. Let's go to week two and read of this together. In week two, welcome to your online tutorial. There'll be some videos and some Maple TA exercises. You have two weeks to complete these exercises in order to receive marks. Well, there's a video and some exercises. We'll just start with the video. So I'll click there and it takes us to this lovely video. In this problem, here's we're Norman laying at down some math. Geometrical you can watch through the video of Norman and then go back. After watching the video, complete the Algebra Week 2 Introduction to Vectors. Let's go do that. So I'll click on there and I log into Maple TA. And we're looking for the Week 2 exercises, exercises which are here. Here's my week two exercise for introduction to vectors. It warns me that I can only submit a question once. Once I press next or grade, then I cannot change my answer. Very good. So be it. You get five goes at completing your algebra online home or your online tutorial. And to you click next or grade, then you've had a go at a particular question. Well, actually, once you hit grade, it grades everything for you and that submits the assignment. So be careful with the grade function. Next is okay, it only, mark, it only 
marks that one question and moves you on to the next. So here we have a very similar question to the previous one. I'm going to put down some answers here. Let's say OB. What do I think OB is? Uh, let's go up a little bit of A plus a little bit of H. H. And I think HD. How do I do that? So from H, go to D. And FA. How do I go from F to A? Go backwards a bit. Plus h and a f from a go to f so i go a little bit of h and a little bit of a and when I'm happy that those are the answers, I can click next. It'll take me to the next question. Cool. Notice that my grade went up by four points and I've got some amount of hours remaining. Don't worry too much about this. This just tells you the countdown until the homework is actually due. So really this, this timing is telling me I've got about three weeks left to complete my homework. So we go through the questions. I think OD, well, you can, you can enter these ones. So you go through the motions. Here's a question about the New York. Here's a question about chess. Here's a question about a square. And now I can't go next anymore. So I have to click grade or quit and save. So if I want to go away, ponder the world for a while, have a cup of tea, when I'm steeled myself and I'm ready to go back to my homework, I can click Introduction to Vectors. And here I am, poised, ready to grade my homework. Let's go. Oh no, and now the computer's telling me that I should probably drop Math 1141 and go to Math 1131. Of course, you're going to have to put in more effort than I just put in in order to pass this course. I only scored 4 out of 20. It's not good enough at all. But you've seen how to go about completing your online homework.